Hello everyone, it's Umar bin Hussain. In our previous lesson, we have studied 20 out of 40 most common Chinese radicals. And today we are going to study the rest of 20. Let's start it with Li, meaning force. So this radical represents any action or any activity requiring a lot of force, a lot of effort, a lot of power. For example, we have Gong meaning achievement you know achievement takes a lot of effort tong meaning move so moving anything requires a lot of force and a lot of power so both of these words are somehow related to power or related to force or related to effort so they are using this li li now let's drive this li from the basic six strokes here we have hang chu guo and pie very simple the next one is yao meaning right hand this radical is used for those people or those items or those things which are very close to our heart for example here we have pang yao meaning friend so you know a good friend is almost a right hand of any person let's drive it from basic strokes it is also a simple hang pie and na it is good meaning weapon g g g this radical is used for those activities or those items or those things or those people who are somehow related to weapon for example here we have an activity fighting so this g is used in this fight because you know weapons are used in fighting so let's draw it from basic strokes here we have hang Xie Guo, Pie, and Tian. The next one is Tu, 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 meaning Earth. So this radical will represent anything which is related to Earth. For example, we have Ji Chang, meaning airport. So airport has a lot of Earth, means a lot of space. So it is using this Tu. You can see over here. It is Ti Fang, meaning place. So it is also using this Tu. You can see it over here. Let's drive it from basic strokes. And it is very simple. Just horizontal stroke, horizontal stroke, and this vertical stroke. If you don't know about these basic strokes, you can watch our first three videos where we have discussed these basic strokes in detail. The next radical is Mian, 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 meaning roof. You can also get the idea of roof from this character as well. Roof basically pretends to be shelter for any person or any other animal. For example, here we have Jia, 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 meaning home. And if you see this character, it is composed of this Mian and this Shi. It means pig. So a pig under roof means that he is at home. Similarly, we have another character, an, an, meaning safe and secure. This character is composed of mian and ni. Ni represents woman and this one represents roof. So a woman under roof means that she is at her home and she is safe. The next radical is zo, to walk. Zo, zo. Zo. This radical looks little bit complex. Let's simplify it. It is basically composed of two characters on the top and on the bottom. The top one is Tu. Tu. We just have studied this one. And this one is Chi. Chi. To stop. This written form is shorter version of this Chi. So this radical represents any activity, any term, any name, any action, any performance related to walking. For example, here we have chi meaning up, to get up. And if you see the character, you will see that it is composed of zo, zo and ji. So zo means walking and ji means self. So self walking. So if a, if a person is walking, it means he is he got up, 
and he is walking. Let's drive this character from basic six strokes. Here we have toe, simple one, and the lower portion is vertical stroke, horizontal stroke, or left falling and right falling. The next radical is xiao, 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 meaning small. So it will represent any activity, any uh, performance, or any name which portrays the meaning of small. It also has two shorter variants or two variants. This one and this one. These three dots on the top, you can see it will be placed on the top. These will portray the meaning of small in that character. For example, here we have chen, chen meaning dust. And if you see this character, it is composed of this earth and this small. So this small earth means dust and let's drive it from basic strokes very simple shu guo left falling tian the next radical is gong very simple and it relates with work activities for example here we have gong run so means worker so worker is that person who works let's drive it from basic simple strokes it is very simple horizontal stroke vertical stroke and horizontal stroke if you don't know about these basic strokes, you can watch our first three videos. We have discussed these basic strokes in detail. The next radical is gong, another gong. You can see that this gong and this gong have same tone, same pinion, but both have different characters and different meanings. So this gong means bow, bow means uh, something uh, from which arrow is short so this radical will represent any activity any name any performance which is related to bow so driving it from the basic strokes is very simple just uh, horizontal stroke hang chu hang shu chu chu go and let's find an example here we have in in we can see that this gong is placed on left side and it means to pull so pulling bow to shot an arrow the next radical is joy meaning moon joy 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 so let's simplify it this outer box is jiong jiong meaning box and the inner one is er meaning two so this radical will represent anything, any activity, any name, or any performance related to moon. For example, here we have Ming, meaning bright. You can see that it is composed of R on the left side and this Yue on the right side. So R means sun and Yue means moon. So when sun shares its light with moon, then it becomes brighter. And I think it is not necessary to drive it from basic strokes. So we will move towards next uh, radical and that is Tian, Tian meaning field. So this radical will represent those activities or those names or those uh, performances which are carried out at field. Let's simplify this radical. We can see the outer box is Kao meaning mouth and the inner one is Shi meaning 10. So this radical will relate any activity or any name related to field. For example, here we have nun, nun meaning male persons. So you can see that uh, it is composed of this tian and this is li, our first radical that we have studied today. So the effort being done in the field is usually from the male persons and driving it from the basic simple strokes, vertical stroke, hang chu, hang Shu Hang. The next radical is Mu. Mu. Mu meaning I. So it will represent any activity, any name, or any term which is related to I. Let's simplify this character first. The outer box is Kao and the inner one is Er meaning two. So this will represent anything related to I. For example, here we have Yan. Yan meaning eyelet and it is jing jing eyeball so both of these are names 
which are related to I. So this move is placed on left side of each name. Let's derive it from the basic strokes and I think it is very simple so you can do it very easy. The next radical is she meaning to show. Let's simplify this character. The top one is er meaning two and the lower one is xiao meaning small. It also has another shorter form which is uh, this one. So this one is also representing activities which are related to uh, showing. For example, piao uh, means ticket and you can see it is placed on the bottom side. So piao or ticket is something that is always to be shown. The next radical is er, er meaning air and I think it is very simple as well. Just a box and two horizontal lines but this one is not composed of two characters. It is directly composed of basic strokes. It will represent those activities or those names or, or those terms or those actions which are somehow related to air. For example, here we have to, to meaning to take action. You can see that this R is placed on the left side and this one is yo meaning again and again. So when a person listens again and again, he quickly takes action. And let's drive it from basic simple strokes. Horizontal stroke, vertical stroke, vertical stroke, horizontal stroke, horizontal stroke, and horizontal stroke. The next radical is E, 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 meaning clothes. So it will represent those names, those activities, those uh, terms which are related to cloth. For example, here we have ao, ao, meaning jacket. This one and this one portrays the same meaning of clothing. Usually this one is placed on the left side and you can observe that jacket is a part of clothes. So this radical is placed on the left side. And let's drive it from the basic simple strokes. Here we have tian, horizontal stroke, pie, shu guo, left falling, right falling. But if you have noticed that this radical is almost similar to another radical that we have studied today, this one is, you know, E meaning cloth and the other one is she that we have just studied and it relates characters with something of showing both look very similar to each other but both are different can you spot that difference this one has an additional left falling straw and this one don't have. so you should be careful while reading both of these radicals if uh, the radical has this left falling it means that it is representing cloth and if we don't have any left falling on this side then it means it is representing the action of showing. The next radical is be, be, be meaning shell or money. Simplifying this character is very simple just the outer box jiong and the inner one is run meaning people. So this represents anything any term or any action related to money or related to shell. For example, here we have gue meaning expensive. You can see this be on the bottom side. And you surely know that expensive is a term that is related to many. And I think driving it from basic simple strokes is very simple so you can do it by yourself. The next radical is zu meaning foot. Zu, zu. So it will represent any action, any performance, any name, any activity related to foot. Let's simplify this radical first. The upper portion is mouth and the lower portion is ch, ch, to stop. We already have studied this one as well. So any character composed of this zu will represent something related to food. For example, here we have tiao, tiao meaning to dance and pao, pao to run. Both of these are actions which are performed through foot. The next radical is Man, 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 meaning gate. So it will represent anything, any activity which is related to close or opening of something. For example, here we have one, one, meaning to ask. And if you see this character, it is composed of this man, meaning gate, and this ka, meaning mouth. So whenever you open the doors of your mouth, you're going to ask something. The next and last radical of today's lecture is young, young meaning sheep. So this radical will relate with any activities or any uh, names or any terms which are uh, related to sheep. 
it also has two other variants this one and this one uh, are the shorter version of this one all of these represent something related to sheep for example here we have me meaning beautiful so if you just look at it it is composed of this ta on the lower side and this ya on the upper side this ta means big so a big and fat sheep is very beautiful let's derive it from the basic strokes tn left falling horizontal stroke horizontal stroke horizontal stroke and vertical stroke so that's all about our today's lecture we have successfully completed 40 most common chinese radicals and in our next video we're going to start hsk1 and i am sure that uh, hsk1 course will be very effective integrated and very simple for beginners and after completing that hsk1 course we will move towards hsk2 so stay connected thank you so much for watching